Hey, what's going on, everyone? How you guys doing today? My name is Matt Jarbo. Welcome to Three Buck Theater, where we talk about all sorts of things, pop culture, good, bad, and the other. And you guys know me. I love it when BS gets called out. I love it when bad reporting gets called out. And I love it when directors step up to actually defend the properties that they're working on from nefarious, underhanded, lame, bad reporting. And I think that's great in this particular situation. So for right now, what we have is an article that came out yesterday on Cosmic Book News that's titled Alice Braga rumored as Poison Ivy in Suicide Squad Leaks. Oh my God, really? Suicide Squad Leaks? Holy crap. Alice Braga, who's in New Mutants. Oh my God. Suicide Squad Leaks? Where where, where did this come from? Did it come from your, your, your friendly neighborhood scooper like Mikey Sutton or Charles Murphy or any of the other ones that are kind of douchey, but whatever? No, it didn't. It didn't actually do any of that at all. But, you know, none of that matters because this is a sexy headline, right? It's a sexy headline. Now, it says here that uh, the casting and plot details have been posted to 4chan and then, of course, via Reddit because that's how this whole thing works here. And this is, they talked about some stuff here with some casting and they go, oh, here's the plot leak and they give us this breakdown of the plot, which I'm not really going to go for. Um, and, uh, and, you know, it's all, it is what it is, right? Oh, it's, it's a leak, it's a leak, it's a leak. It may not be real. I mean, it, remember that Cosmic Book News runs Doomcock leaks as if they are like this. They treat them with the same level of journalistic professionalism uh, and then end up spreading fake news. And I say this because even yesterday, I was at, I, I, my daughter had her one-year birthday party. And one of my friends, who is not internet savvy, not really on the internet, came down. And we're talking about Star Wars. And he get, looks at me and he goes like, hey, what's this I'm hearing about like they're going to get rid of Kathleen Kennedy? She's been fired because of some internal civil war. And they're going to be, you know, getting rid of episodes seven, eight and nine. Have you heard anything about that? Is that true? And I just looked at him and I just went like literally like, ah, because I'm like, no, it's not. Oh, my God. No, it's not. Oh, my Jesus. You know, and like my friend means well, he just doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't pay attention. But this is this is what happens. This kind of fake news gets spread. This kind of fake news gets put out there and average people who are normies hear about it and they start to believe it. This is the same friend that came to me a month before Solo came out and was all like, hey, are you going to go see Solo? And I'm all like, hell yeah, I'm going to go see Solo. And like, he's like, I don't want to see it. And I'm like, that's weird. You're a big Star Wars nut. Why don't you want to see it? And he goes, well, I hated The Last Jedi and I heard this movie sucks. And I'm like, where'd you hear this movie sucks? And he's like, I heard about it on the internet. I'm just like, have you seen it yet? No. Well, then you don't know if it sucks. Now, do you? And he's like, no. I'm like, all right, then. I'm all, if you have questions, call me. He's got my number. You guys don't have my number. So if you got questions, follow me on social media or follow me on the Facebook group. And then you can ask your questions there. And I can tell you to the best of my ability, whether it's real or fake. And here's here's just to save you a little bit of time tip. If it's coming out of a, if it's coming out of cosmic book news, the likelihood of it being real is slim to none. All right. If you're hearing about it from your from certain channels here on YouTube that are pushing this uh, as some kind of nonsense, uh, then eh, take it with a grain of salt. All right. Like everything you hear scoop leaks wise via Reddit, take with a grain of salt. But that being said, I have to at least be somewhat honest on this one, at least give some credit to 4chan because somebody in like October of last year posted Scoob leaks on 4chan that gave away the whole plot and they ended up being right. So it does happen. It does happen. I have to be honest about that one because it does happen. In this situation though, we're getting some pushback and that's actually coming in from James Gunn himself who's quoting it. This is from a couple hours ago, and he says, wouldn't it be nice if sites didn't report the ramblings of some rando on Reddit, YouTube, Twitter, or 4chan as if it was news? And he's calling them out. He's calling them out. He follows it up to say, and he says, and this is just about a movie. At the end of the day, who cares? But think about how this stuff impacts our world when it's about politics and people's lives and science, which is such a great analogy. It is. It's such a great comparison. Because if you think about it, we deal right now in fake news. We, we deal absolutely with fake news in this world. And I mean, like I commented on it. I don't know if I could find my own post here. He responded to me. Surprise. It's not the first thing that I'm seeing there, but I commented on it and I had said like, uh, I think I commented on this one. If I can get to it, come on. There we go. I said, uh, James, I'm a YouTuber who covers movie news and it's becoming increasingly difficult 
to fight back against nonsense like this uh, that you read on Cosmic Book News. Thank you for actually saying something. To which case he responded back with, the sites have integrity, should have more traffic, and I'll always try to support that. Now, the truth of the matter is, I don't actually ever see him tweet anything out that's in support, but I understand what he's attempting to say here. Uh, at the same time, uh, what we've got is a situation where looking at you know, uh, well, my fault. Well, I had followed up with this by saying, like, uh, you know, this is my. I, I'm reading my own tweets to you as if this really matters, but it is what it is. Uh, I said it's a bit of a double-edged sword because we're in this world world right now where it seems like the only interesting news uh, is coming is coming out of scoopers, right? So like people like Mikey Sutton or Jeremy Conrad or Daniel Rickman or Charles Murphy or or uh, you know, 4chan or Reddit or things like that. And I said, and since most news coverage is skewed towards blockbuster films, they tend to get more. Uh, or they tend to get the most fake news, which is very true. And then I followed up by saying, it's like, look, I'm a huge Downton Abbey fan. And I know that talking about it won't do well on my channel, which then hurts my financial returns at the end of the month. As I said, it's a double-edged sword. And, and I'm not wrong on that. You know, if I talk about something that's not interesting to you guys, whatever audience I have here, then you're not going to want to see it. If I talk about drama, like I have been quite a bit this last week because it's kind of been directly involving me and there's some more stuff i probably should talk about and i probably will as a result of that i've gotten more views but when i try to cover news like the story of like season three of the orville being canceled or, or something along those lines to give my my thoughts on that try to break that down it doesn't get as many views this video itself might get some views just because of the topic but who's to say the other videos i put out are going to get anywhere near the same amount of coverage Truth of the matter is, unless it's aimed around something that's controversial or a big, highly marketed film or production, they don't generally tend to get a lot of views. And then in that case, a lot of people don't make that content. They don't talk about that content because the time I invest into putting this whole thing together, everything you see takes time. It costs money to make. I have to manage all that. So that's the unfortunate side of it. That is the very much unfortunate side of it. And so calling that out to James Gunn, I think is, is a good thing because look, I, I really respect Gunn. I think he's a great filmmaker. Uh, I feel bad for what happened to him two years ago. He's being canceled. He's clearly on his way back, but I'm glad that he's standing up and he's talking out against Cosmic Book News. He has recently also come out and talked about, we got this covered and called them out as well. And the thing is, it's up to the rest of us to also do that, to find a way to just move past this fake nonsense. But at the same time, you don't always know if it's fake as I, you know, like the aforementioned Scoob story or other things that have been posted on 4chan, like the dark fate leaks that came out last year that ended up being true. So it ends up being this like thing of like, do you trust it? Do you not trust it? But we have seen recent incidences of, let's say, Clownfish TV coming out and saying, oh, this is what we heard about He-Man and Kevin Smith has had to correct them and BTFO them twice now. So it's one of those things where you're like, you know, is where does it, where, what, what's going on? But in this particular case, when the director of the project comes out and, you know, says something about it, I think we can look at it then and go, this is more or less probably a BS story. It's almost like going back to the release of The Rise of Skywalker. In a random interview, J.J. Abrams brought up the fandom menace. And it's like, okay, you brought them up, but why? Well, I found out that it's because somebody emailed them, emailed Bad Robot to complain about the bad coverage online and mention the fandom menace directly. That's my take for how it came to being in the mind of J.J. Abrams even mentioned in an interview. And that only then gave the fandom menace way more credit, you know, way more cred down the road. So it's like, because they, they fed off of that. So it's a weird double-edged sword. It's a weird world we live in. I guess it really boils down to just you, the viewer, about what kind of content you want to consume and what kind of content you wish to believe. Because at the end of the day, people are doing this for a job. They are doing this for money. They are doing this because they love it. But people will always follow the path of least resistance. And if the path of least resistance is reporting on every single rumor that comes out and treating it either like it's the, 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 you know, the goose that laid the golden egg, or it's the most rotten, terrible, nasty thing on the planet, it's up to the audience to make that decision. And then the audience has to come in and go, look, I, I either believe this or I don't believe this, but like a grain of salt, skepticism, healthy skepticism, there's nothing wrong with that. There's a big echo chamber on the internet, and unfortunately, 
we're all kind of in it. So I leave it to you, your thoughts, your opinions on this one. Let me know down in the comments below. They should be a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys do want to help support the channel in this uh, this kind of precarious time in the life in the age of COVID, feel free to become a channel member as low as one ninety nine a month just to support it. Or you can come over to the uh, Patreon page and do a dollar per month over there uh, just to support if you want to get going. And I do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later on. Have yourself a great day. Thank you again and peace out.